Good afternoon and welcome to today's interview with Herantis Pharma. With me on link, I have the COO, Antti Volanto. Welcome, Antti. Thank you. Pleased to be here. So today you announced initial results from the HER96 study with Nanoform technology. Can you please tell me a bit more about this? Yes. So as we announced earlier this year, now uh, we have clearly uh, selected HER96 as our lead compound. And uh, we also uh, previously have studied nanoforming technology with uh, our CDNF protein. That was a very successful study. But now, we, as we are uh, concentrating on HER96, we also wanted to start exploration of how we can exploit nanoforms technology using uh, or um, using our HER96 um, uh, peptide molecule as well. So basically, what we did um, uh, together with Nanoform, we made the first uh, nanoforming experiments to, to see whether we can form um, nanoparticles uh, from HER96. And it turned out to be very successful. So um, now we have, have conducted the first studies and, uh, and successfully uh, nanoformed HER96. Do you want to tell me a little bit more about the main findings from the study? Yes, sure. So it seems like we are able to even in the in the preliminary studies produce uh, a rather um, well-defined uh, size of, of uh, HER96 nanoparticles, which seems to be stable. So a very good uh, and solid background uh, in order to then start utilizing the nanoparticles in an optimal way. Uh, and that's what we think is that um, an overall um, formulation would be later on in our uh, development with HER96 would be adding very much value in our, our program. Tell me a little bit more about the advantages of uh, administrating the drug in an oral version. Yes. So basically, um, our clinical uh, plans and what we have done also in, in preclinic so far is that we use uh, HER96 as a subcutaneous uh, uh, injection, so in solution. And that's very much um, um, a good administration route for early clinical studies. So it's, uh, it's easy to use and uh, the current plan is that we can, it's enough to administer HER96 96 three times a week, maybe on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. However, when we consider um, HER96 as a potential disease modifying therapy, it means that we would need to start uh, treating Parkinson's patients early on when the disease has been diagnosed. And uh, if we are successful in, in uh, delaying the progression or even stopping the progression, it means that uh, such uh, HER96 treatment treatment would take, uh, would, would, would be a long-term long treatment, maybe years. And uh, even though the subcutaneous administration is fine, for example, if you consider uh, insulin injections, of course, taking a tablet or, or, or a capsule using oral administration would be much preferred uh, for the patient point of view. And that's why we wanted to start now the exploration. And uh, we have hopes that then later on in the clinical development, we can switch from the subcutaneous administration route to oral administration. I understand. And you want to start the uh, first clinical trial with uh, HER96 next year. Can you tell me a bit about how the study will be conducted, please? Yes. So basically during this year, we will finalize the preclinical studies and the regulatory package that we will submit by the end of the year. And, and next year, we will conduct the first uh, or phase one clinical study. That will be, uh, let's say, quite traditional uh, phase one safety study. So uh, we uh, plan to uh, uh, recruit um, healthy volunteers and study primarily the safety. But very important for us is also to be able to demonstrate the blood-brain barrier uh, penetration. And that we aim to do also also in this study. So basically, by the end of the next year, uh, we uh, we have the data how efficiently HER96 goes into the uh, brain of, of humans uh, following a, a simple and single subcutaneous administration. Is that what you're uh, focusing on right now, like the preparations for the uh, 
phase a uh, fir first clinical uh, study? Yes, absolutely. So this year is, is the year of preparation and next year is the, the year of, of execution of that, that study. But uh, as important or even more important to do that, uh, what we do on the R&D side is also that now we also focus much on the partnering side. As we have learned um, and we have obviously discussed with the, with the potential partners for a long time, years, uh, many years, and uh, we strongly believe that uh, being able to demonstrate the blood-brain barrier penetration with our very much potential uh, disease-modifying uh, treatment, that would be in a way one of the major missing pieces from our, let's say, partnering package. And that's why we, we plan to be very active on the partnering side uh, during this and next year. Thank you so much, Antti, for joining me today and good luck now in the future. Thank you.